Hey guys, welcome back to another deck at home video. This is a series where I make stupid cheap decks so that you can play them. And in this video, I'm going to be playing Rescue Ace. The Rescue Ace archetype are a bunch of firefighters using mecha suits who can respond to any moves your opponent makes and has effects that can be activated on your opponent's turn. But their main power comes from their boss monster, Rescue Ace Turbulence, who can search from your deck and set up to 4 spell traps to interrupt your opponent on their turn. Also, having Rescue Ace Hydrant on the field will give your spell trap additional effects that can be game changing. Alright guys, so here is the budget Rescue Ace deck list. I know you may be wondering, what the heck is the left and right leg of the Forbidden One doing here? Now the reason why I'm running these two cards is because of Jack in the Hand. Now what Jack in the Hand does is I reveal three level 1 monsters with different names and your opponent adds one and then I add one and you shuffle the third one back into the deck. So I will reveal Hydrant and both feet of Exodia. And then basically I pray that the opponent chooses the feet instead of the Hydrant and I'll get a free Hydrant Search off of Jack in the Hand. That is the game plan, okay? It works, you can obviously swap these out for other level ones. I have tried using Pearly and Pearlily because they are pretty relevant in the meta now, so I could maybe try and bait them. But for some reason, Feet attracts the opponent more. Exodia has higher success rate than the Pearly cards for some reason. So that is why I'm using Exodia's feet. Anyways, we're running two copies of Hydrant because the more copies of Hydrant the better. Not the third copy because we kind of want to cheap out as much as possible. We're also running a three Piri Rias map to help search for our Hydrant. We will take half our LP doing this, but it is pretty worth it because Hydrant is very important to get our combo started and to search for our one of Turbulence. We also run Gizmic Naganaki, which also searches for our Hydrant, but it uses our normal summon. If you guys want the full deck list, I'll put it in the description, and you can check it out there for every card in this deck. Now, I'll real quick show you guys like a test hand of this deck to show you guys how it plays. Alright, with this test hand, this is what we want to do. We want to activate Rhoda first. This will allow us to search our air lifter. And if we have Hydrant already in hand with Airlifter, we want to sort normal summon Airlifter first. Activate Airlifter effect and special summon Fire Attacker. Airlifter is going to search for our field spell. Activate the field spell. This will give us an extra normal summon for rescue ace monsters. So we can now normal summon our hydrant, activate effect to grab our turbulence from our deck. Now turbulence needs to banish two rescue ace cards from our graveyard. We don't have any right now, but we have three rescue ace cards in our on our field. So what we can do is summon transverser with two of our rescue ace cards. Let's put her here, that way one of her link arrows is pointing to Hydrant that makes it so that it cannot be destroyed. Now we can banish our two monsters, Rescue Ace monsters in our graveyard to special summon Turbulence. Activate Turbulence effect to set four spell traps. A fun tip and trick, if you don't want to click all of these cards individually, just click cancel and it'll auto shuffle everything for you. Now, on their opponent's turn, you can activate all of your spell traps and back on your turn, you can use your field spell to shuffle all of these back into the deck and research and set them with turbulence. So basically, you can kind of see what the game plan is now. You just keep on setting and interrupting their game plan with your back row and re resetting all of them with the field spell and turbulence. And because we have Hydrant out, we can also activate our spell traps the turn they were set. So we're going to activate Alert to search for a Rescue Ace monster. 
And the one we want to choose to add is probably Impulse. Or if you want to play it safe, you can always just add Hydrant, I guess, if they somehow manage to get rid of it. But you can always just shuffle it back with um, HQ anyway, so I don't think we really, we really need to do that. And of course, we can just set our Book of Moon or anything else we have. And that's basically a turn one play for Rescue Ace. So hopefully you guys know how the heck you can play Rescue Ace. So good luck on your games. And I'll show you guys some of my games that I played testing out this deck. Oh my god, we opened the feet. Um, Ash Bait? Grab the Hydrant? No Ash. We just take 4,000 for no reason. Okay. Um, let's, uh, summon the Hydrant. They're the non-shiny one, so he doesn't know that we have another one. Summon the Jet. Activate Hydrant Effect to grab our Turbulence. Then we link into Geonator. Then we summon Turbulence by banishing these guys. Activate Effect. Set this. Set another. I don't know why I'm putting them left to right like this, but I don't know. It just feels right. Set this. And set this. Turn end. Let's see how we do this. In a pot of prosperity. Okay. Um, oh, he's not playing Galaxy, he's playing Labyrinth. The one pot of P in a 60 card deck. One out of 60 chance. I guess it's not, it's like a 5 out of 6. I don't even know, dude. Math. Who plays a 60 card lab deck, though? It surely is, it isn't pure lab. It has to be lab with something else to be 60 cards, right? Farfa? Burning Abyss? Oh! Okay then. There goes all of my interruptions. What the heck is this? I, I thought my turbulence is mega protected. 3000 defense? Cannot be destroyed? Summons it back if it is destroyed? Okay, turbulence is back, I guess. Draw. Okay, that's useless. <laughs> I have two cards that are absolutely useless. Actually, three cards that are absolutely useless. Holy crap. Yo, I need to check out his deck list after this. What is this? Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Summons the lady. Puts back the that guy. Okay, um, I'm gonna normal this, because I can. I'll activate Hydrant? <sighs> That's actually insane. Why? But why? It's so stupid. <laughs> Activate this, extinguish, destroy lady. What? Huh? Dude, are you like, why do you even run skill drain? One of skill drain, by the way. Did he search this? 60 card deck, by the way. Draws the one of prosperity, draws the one of skill drain. Insane. Steal the lady? I can? How? How do I even. How do I steal the lady? Oh! Oh, I forgot I could do that. Activate rescue. I'm a rest. Whoa. What's the highest attack? I guess it's the lady. My lady now. I stole your girl. How do you feel about that? Um. I guess I just attack. Or wait. No, I have game. No, I don't have game. Do I have game? I have game. So I link. I link into Codebreaker. Use alert to grab turbulence back. Special turbulence. That's game! GG's! Right! That's how it works. Summon Codebreaker. Activate alert effect. Grab the turbulence. Banish this and this. I don't even know, dude. Sure, why not? Okay, then. Well, okay, then. 
GG's. Oh, we have it. Perfect. Okay. All right. Here, here it goes. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't ash this. Please don't ash this. Don't ash this. Come on. Come on. Get the Exodia. Get it. Get it. Come on. Yo, oh, let's go! Let's go! You worked! It worked! Let's go! Yo! Defeat got him! Got him with defeat! All good. We can still search turbulence. Just a little bit scuffed. No worries. Activate HQ. Now we can normal summon lifter as well. Because why not? Activate lifter effect? Um, What do we want to grab? Maybe another field spell? I don't know, dude. And we activate alert to grab a turbulence. Yes. Perfect. We can go into the transverser. Summon the transverser. Destruction protection of the, the hydrant. Activate turbulence effect. Banish this one and this one. I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Summon that. Look at him with the feet in his hand. Look at him. He he must feel stupid. He must feel so stupid. <laughs> End phase. Okay, let's go. <laughs> just look at him. Look at this. this card just standing out. Oh, I teleported. Right click to cancel. I'll auto shuffle. Really? Oh, we'll test it out next time. Oh, what? He summons the feet. He summons the feet. No way. What's he doing? He summons the. Link Spider? No way! What? Link Spider? Do I negate that? Screw it. I'm gonna contain this Link Spider. What deck runs Link Spider? No way he's running like Celtic Guardian or something. Tri Brigades? Wait, yeah, what? Why are you running Link Spider in a Tri Brigade deck? What? What is this, dude? Honestly, don't know. Use alert to add impulse. You're right, I should do that. Um, let's just use alert now. Nice. Okay, he's got the Keras. Right, I still have a negate. And a graveyard disruption. It should be good. What? Who runs that? Okay, he's gonna activate Keras. I'm gonna negate destroy. Or I guess destroy negate. Activate ex when? So I activate this now and then chain extinguish because this is not a need to chain thing, right? So I activate impulse. Chain 3, activate, extinguish, extinguish the Keras. Very good. And, on, and then I... The heck am I summon? I think I summon this guy. And then that guy will summon this guy for maximum profit here. Yeah, this guy is big. Huge. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Does it not negate? Oh, it already activated. I thought it was just destroy and then negate it. And then it can't, you know, act like, oh. Words, man. Words. Because it already activated. That's why I'm stupid. My bad, my bad. Um, Summon impulse? I can't summon the jet for some reason. I thought I could. Alright, what's he banishing? Probably turbulence, right? Okay, that's fine. I can probably add it back. Maybe. He can't attack the hydrant. He might attack the transverser. I should have immediately popped the Keras. Oh wells. Oh wells. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, uh, if I had more copies, I could get him again. Oh, oh, no, I can do this. Let's activate this draw card. Let's do this, this, and this, this. Yes, perfect. This is huge. Let's activate Hydrant. Grab the Turbulence. Yo, we are cooking. We are cooking. Activate Turbulence. We banish uh, this guy and this guy. I don't know. Why not? I thought I only could shuffle back into the deck the banished ones. This should be game, I think. So let's go into battle phase. I'm going to attack the Shurig with Turbulence. That destroys. It's going to activate the effect to search for a beast or something, right? Rock Paul. I'm pretty sure he's dead. So now I activate rescue. I'm going to rescue. Wait, what? I can't, I can't summon his Shurig. Why can't I summon his Shurig? It isn't properly summoned? What? That's so dumb. Do I still have game? I actually still might. Use Keras to attack. Wait, why didn't my guys go down? While your opponent- Oh, while your opponent controls a monster. Oh, oh, wait, I am dumb as bricks, bro. All right, I definitely don't have a lethal. Uh, I might as well get into decode talker. Make decode. Activate turbulence. Okay, I will normal airlifter. Do I want to add anything? I can add the impulse. Activate alert. Let's see what he does. He has uh, fractal. That's gonna suck, but whatever. Okay, Tribrigate stuff is Tribrigating. Okay. Um, let's just contain it. This is the, you can't attack, right? Yeah, yeah, let's contain it. Activate effect of contain. Contain this guy. Yes, yes. All right. All right, now we know to insta-pop this guy. All right, we're not gonna make the same mistake again. Insta-pop him. Extinguish immediately. Boom! End phase. Oh, yo, then we recycle everything? Actually insane. Activate HQ. Shuffle this, 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 and this. Shuffle all four. So that's why you only run one copy of each. I make it makes sense now. Um, which one has the most attack? I want to summon this. Fucking summon both. Them out. Oh, summon the fire engine, baby. Huge. Sheesh. And let's finish him off with the fire engine. Nice, GGS. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!